we're back with another Disney game. Why would there not be another Disney game? Oh wow, look, we have different characters we can choose from. I can't make one? Import avatar from what? The hair looks like insanely like Jack Sparrow's hair. No, like the dude from Pirates of the Caribbean, the dude he didn't like with the, the other guy with the fucking, uh, in the exact same shirt. What was his name? I don't like any of these characters. I will like, this is looks like the guy from like a Darman video. Is that what the guy inspiration? Actually, all the characters look like someone has been in a fucking Darman video. Oh my God, it's just bad. Yeah, we'll just like move the joystick around. And then like we'll just hit A on a random character. I'm closing my eyes. Five, four, three, two, one. Alright, this is our character. Oh, you can't customize, that's sick. Make him look mad as fuck. Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna be angry. Oh shit, no, no, no eyeshadow. No eyeshadow. Can I go to none? Oh, that doesn't help at all. Wait, wait. Oh, I can do eye color. Sick. I think you have to go down like this and you just... Boom. None. Eyebrow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. No eyebrows. We have no eyebrows. There we go, that nose. <laughs> what is this for? Oh, lipstick? Okay, good. Yeah, none. I had an idea, like, he looked like one of those cartoon characters to me, but I just forgot the fucking name. What's this? Definitely looks like someone out of a Darman video now. Hell yeah, no hair. No. Yes. I can do face paint. What the fuck is that? What am I supposed to be? No face paint, bud. Facial hair? It's sad. He's starting to remind me of one of the teachers I had in like middle school. His name was Mr. Salter, bro. That motherfucker was mean. He was cool as shit, but he was mean. He used to, he used to like, to arrange to, to um, fit his new seating chart. He would tell you to move your bag, right? And then he would put you in your seat and then slide you around while you're in your seat and put you where he wanted you to go. And you couldn't talk. Like, it was the most awkward situation I've ever been in. Because he wouldn't say shit to you. He would just, he just looked mad as fuck and would slide you around. He was, like, he was a cool guy, though. <laughs> But he, it's the most awkward thing about being in his class. <laughs> What's this guy's name? Mm. John. Mm. John Fisher. That's a good name. John Fisher. Sounds very random. I'll take it. Oh, well. Wow. His first name is in all caps. John Fisher. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's my name. Our story begins with an ending.
As you decide, it's time to leave the city behind. What if I want to leave it now? Yearning for a pause from life's responsibilities. You arrive at a familiar place. Oh. A quick stroll along a nearby path leads you to a For a second, I thought my stream was in child, Spanish. I was like, how the fuck am I streaming it in another language? Simpler. And with a touch of imagination, all your dreams would come That would actually true. be kind of, of a cool feature if it's like... You can have your, um... Finding the perfect place for a rest. You begin Stream broadcast in dreams, different languages depending on the region. To sleep. Like, let's say I want to stream in America. It's like people that want to watch it in Mexico. If if they don't speak English, they can hit like translate or some shit, and it'll automatically instead of them having to read subtitles or whatever, it'll just automatically go into Spanish. That would be super fucking cool. Or even in America, because there are some people over here that don't even speak English either. That'd be a cool fucking thing. They can like watch your stream, and they just hit a little button, and it puts your fucking stream in Spanish instantly, like audio from the game and you. Like that would be cool. I just wonder how much work that would take to even get that to happen. And same thing for people over here that don't speak like other languages. It's like, if you want to watch a, a Portuguese uh, broadcast or whatever, you can watch theirs and put it in English and all that. That would, be, that would just be a really cool feature. What's this? Are my spectacles enchanted or might you actually be real? Of course I'm real. Well, you never can be too sure around here. I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me. I haven't met anyone in ages. I have. Welcome to Dreamlight Valley, my friend. Can I? Dreamlight Valley? This place is... Why the fuck is like... I hit A like six times. There we go. Awfully mysterious. I feel like I could explore this place forever and still not find all its secrets. Yes, the valley is full of mysteries. Can I please like skip and play the game now? I feel like I'm playing like Chat Simulator. But there was a time when it was also filled with magic and wonder. Oh, but I haven't introduced myself yet. You're no doubt wondering who I am. In fact, I am. Duh, you're, you're Marlin. It's so strange. I almost feel like I know you. Yes, because he's in front of us. You're a great and powerful wizard, right? Well, yes, but not just any wizard. I'm a soothsayer. A... Now, now, guys, you guys know I graduated high school, okay? So I'm going to tell you that I'm not good with words, all right? A prognosticator. A... <laughs> A prognosticator, a proctologist. <laughs> I don't fucking know, guys. <laughs> the proctologist part was just a joke, though. By the way, I'm not that I'm not that slow. Okay? I can, can, can read to an extent. I'm also quite skilled at alchemy and press. Press ticketation? I don't know how to say this shit. What is going on? What is this game? Why the fuck can't I read it? I'm in the beginning and I already can't read shit. Me, I'm John Fisher. John Fisher? Hmm. Well, the only way to get to the Dreamlight Valley is to pass through dreams. So you must also possess great magic. Otherwise, how could you be here? <sighs> oh, yes. Great magic. Better watch out, Merlin. I'm pretty good at magic myself. You're not the only soothsayer, proctologist, predator, and alchemist. I don't know what the fuck that is. So, pr prognosticator and prestig prestigitator. I don't know how the fuck to say these words. If anyone in the chat below or in the comments on YouTube can fucking tell me this shit, I'll, I'll give you a hug or a high five. In fact, I'm quite certain that you're, that you're the... One we've been waiting for. You're going to save Dreamlight Valley. 
Aha, the spirit of friendship is just what Dreamlight Valley needs. If we're to restore the valley to what it was, the place of magic, magic of wonder, uh, of friendship, we need to stop the forgetting once and for all. We must, we must, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't seem to remember what we were talking about. The forgetting? Oh yes, the forgetting. You have to forgive me, but now you can see where it gets its name. All right, listen closely. I'll tell you the tale before I forget again. Son of a bitch! Are you telling me or showing me, bro? Wally, Wally, Eve. Did anybody see the movie? No. Anyone remember the Disney movie about the old man who smacks a guy, a construction worker in the face with a tennis ball off his walker? And then um, the little kid comes over and he kidnaps the kid. And then the, uh, the kid ends up dropping his GPS. And they end up finding a talking dog and a bird. And then they end up defeating this really old man in a blimp. Um, that movie's so good. He got his house to fly with balloons. That's all I can tell you about the movie. I just described up for those of you who are like, yo, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm ready to help, dude. Let's get this shit done. Woo! Oh, dude, it's like playing Sims almost. No, not talk. What is he doing? Is that an emote? Ooh, squirrel. Oh, I don't have gift, buddy. No fucking shit. I keep hitting that. So what am I supposed to do here? Just, just like... Try to enter the house. Which one? Come on, this one? Can I give it to the squirrel now? Come here, buddy. I think this is a gift for you. It is. There you go. That's all I get? Hello. How the fuck do I get out of here? Ooh, look. This is very strange. I don't know what's going on anymore. It's yes. Donald Duck. So what house are you talking about, my guy? Mm. 
Which one of these? Oh. I've consoled up my nose and discovered that night thorns began infesting Dreamlight Valley soon after our ruler disappeared. No one, not even I, can remove the blast of things. Only someone who can harness the magic of Dreamlight will be able to. And I'm certain that someone is you, John Fisher. Of course, why else would I be here? Well then, don't let me get in your way. Now focus your thoughts on the night thorns. I sense the magic within you already. Focus on it and say the magic words. Straight to the point and quite a classic. Woo! Like magic. Ha ha ha! Jokes! <laughs> I'm a fucking wizard. More talking. Yes, the thorns are inside your house. Best train sound like I can't remember why we came in here. Precisely, being near so many of them clouds the mind. You must remove them before they consume more more memories. Focus your magic once again, John Fisher. Nice. <laughs> All right. Now get the fuck out of my house. Oh, it like hello. Start a fist fight. Catch the house on fire. Goodness, the glowing worm you pulled from the night thorn. It's a memory. It's like the fog is lifted, and I can recall something of the great of the great import of great importance. Mickey Mouse and I were at the Dream Castle, and we left something there. Something important. Let's go find it, is what I said, and then that spirit, of course, I can't remember what it was, but, but wait, there's something else returning to me. When our, lo when our ruler left, the royal, tools were, the royal tools were lost, scattered throughout the valley. <clears throat> we must find them, quickly. They're filled with ancient and powerful magic. The royal tools, if I could find those, then maybe I could solve the mystery of the forgetting. Well, there's certainly no shortage of mysteries to solve around here. First, we must obtain the pickaxe. Holy shit, dude. Is there ever not enough talking in this game? Can we please stop this? I did not do this so I could read. Holy hell. Whoever beats this game... Power to ya, because I don't know how you did it. All right, find the royal pickaxe in the plaza and pull it from the stone. Is it like Lego games? They disappear. It appears no. Oh. Nice. Found something else. Whoa. I found a watering can. Well, I can just water the dead ones. Ooh, look. Oh, look, look, I have mail. Great.
Ah, te voy. Look at that. I wonder if this is like the whole game. Right now I'm just trying to like get rid of everything. That's like the thorns and stuff. Why the fuck does it go on the outside of the fence? I talk all the way. Bruh. What kind of game is this? But I'm trying to get rid of all of these and see like what happens. I wish there was like a proximity <laughs> like option or something where I could destroy like multiple at one time. And I still don't even know what I can do with the coins anyway. Why is this happening? Woo! Am I getting too far away or something? Oh, is it because I'm in the shade? I have no idea, but okay. I guess we'll stay over here. What the fuck is going on in this game? There we go. Oh, I have to eat food. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, awesome. Got my energy back up. Awesome. Why is that a thing? Whoever made this game did not make any sense with that one. Like, yeah, so they have to eat food um, so they can keep their energy up so they can keep removing the thorns. Gotcha. And what if they don't? Then they could get killed. Awesome. Okay. Like, why the fuck is that a thing? Well, look, there's a chest right there. That's nice. The carrots I missed. Is there an achievement for removing all thorns in this area? Because there better be, man. Because I'm just taking my time to do this shit. Hearing that just reminded me of fucking, um... Pff, 
Dead by Daylight. It's Mickey! Hi. <laughs> and I really don't feel like... So long for now. ...doing anything. I didn't feel like reading, that's what I'm gonna say. Ugh. on a good front but I can tell you he's utterly heartbroken. Minnie has was his other half now that she's disappeared I don't know how long it will be before mm. I've really lucked out. My neighbors are great. Another puzzle piece. Hmm Okay. So long for now. He looks extremely creepy, bro. Alright, I'm heading out of this bitch. There ain't shit doing here. Bro, why are you following me out? Why are you up my ass like that, bro? Come down! Alright, this is where I'm gonna end this video. This shit is extremely boring, and I don't like how much effort I have to put into a game. At least like this. Go and grab this shit. Look, we found another fucking puzzle piece, guys. Convince the famous Scrooge McDuck to open a business in our village. He's planning to. Says he's sure it will be good investment. Be a good investment. Okay. That's great to hear. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, everyone stay safe, stay positive, and peace out, everybody. I don't like this game.